Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. I don't much care how he feels about it. Ah, well, you two will get along just swimmingly. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. You can skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. Always looking for more customers. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like, for the right price. I'm not here for that. Ooh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips, then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. It's sick. <laughs> That's quaint, especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Anyway, even supposing she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? 
sonen. Turn that shit off. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? That's what you like. Oh no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Hey. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Unbelievable prick! Hey now! You shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Jesus fuck! Do not. Touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will he come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Is it good for you, Sheriff? Next time, I'm gonna have to charge you. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. It's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear, I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. 
They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Yeah, that's right. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, all right? Georgie. No, I don't want to. Stick lip gloss, compact, glitter. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lock's been busted open. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. By design. I don't give a damn about your guarantee. I need you to cooperate. 
This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Uh huh. I see. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Wait here for a second. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs>